Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. In today's McDojo news, we're going to talk about how a Connecticut martial arts instructor was recently accused of molesting a 14-year-old girl. Let's check out the story. An Ansanya martial arts instructor faces sexual assault and child endangerment charges after a 14-year-old girl told police he allegedly sexually assaulted her several times. Yulton Diaz, age 49, of Seymour, was arrested last week by Seymour Police Department and again on Monday by the Ansanya Police Department. He faces a total of four counts each of second-degree sexual assault and risk of injury to a minor, and one count of enticing a minor by computer, according to the court records. According to the arrest affidavit, Seymour Police in June were investigating an unrelated complaint when a 14-year-old girl asked two officers if she could speak to them privately on the porch of the home, where she disclosed that Diaz had, quote, groomed her and had sex with her on multiple occasions. A detective then notified Ansonia Police and the Department of Children and Families and the Rape Crisis Center in Milford. The girl in July told the crisis center worker that Diaz had allegedly provided her with marijuana and sexually assaulted her at his martial arts studio, Casa of Jiu-Jitsu in Ansonia, according to the warrant affidavit. During a subsequent forensic interview in October at the Yale Child and Advocacy Center in New Haven, the victim alleged that Diaz had sexually assaulted her inside his car while it was parked near an athletic field in Seymour, where his son was playing a soccer game at the time, the affidavit said. The investigators examined the team's schedule and believed the incident took place in either May or June. The girl also detailed during the October interview several alleged sexual assaults she said took place at the martial arts studio, according to the affidavit. The girl's mother said Diaz was the girl's jiu-jitsu instructor and had known her for years. He had also previously helped her with transportation and had taken her shopping before. The mother told police she became concerned about the relationship between the two after a video had been sent to the teen on Snapchat, allegedly showing Diaz showering, reaching for his groin area, and making several inappropriate comments, including asking to see the teen's private parts, the affidavit said. Diaz would also make comments about how important she was to him, saying things like, quote, I need you, and quote, I will not hurt you, you are very special. Diaz is being held on bonds totaling a half a million dollars following his arrest. He is scheduled to appear in Derby Superior Court on January 3rd, 2024. Let's unpack that. This jiu-jitsu instructor had been giving this girl rides not only to and from the martial arts studio, but also shopping for some reason. Also, for some reason, the parents thought that this was somehow a good idea. During that time, he had given this teenager marijuana and also had sexually assaulted her multiple times. Apparently, this guy thought that he was able to get away with it just because it was on Snapchat. The mom finds video and evidence of this happening and gets concerned. The strangest part to me about all this is that the girl did not go directly to the police. The police showed up to the home for an unrelated reason, whatever that may be, and then she approached the police. I find it extremely odd and extremely weird that the parents themselves did not go directly to the police the moment they found out about this. It's clear that the mom says that she was concerned about this, but why wouldn't she go to the police? And back to another part. Why the hell is she allowing this dude to just constantly drive the teenage daughter around? That seems odd to me. This brings us to the question of the day. Would you or someone you know allow a martial arts instructor to drive your child alone to and from martial arts? I've covered hundreds, literally hundreds of these cases over the years, and it seems like one of the standard MOs is to get the child alone in the car and drive them to and from. It's a story that happens over and over and over again. Transportation and like a bus with a lot of kids, that's eh, a little different. But alone, one-on-one, -on -one, just with your child, that's eh, a little shady. So what do you think? Would you allow a martial arts instructor to drive your child to and from martial arts? I look forward to reading your answers in the comment sections below, so that way I know that you watch the entire video. As always, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, memberships, and subscriptions. Keep the martial arts legit. My baby got robbed the other day by the generic So she wanted to learn some new form of this self-defense So she did her research and for rules, did online And found this tool said he could move shit with his mind He call himself Sifu Paul Zimmerman He got a dojo with a strip on your Cinnabon Now she spends all day trying to break boards with her thoughts But the only thing she's breaking is my little heart Things just happen